Question number 151. A technique that enables the production or amplification into billions of copies of original piece of DNA in vitro is in laboratory. Number 1. ELISA is incorrect as ELISA is enzyme linked immunosorbent assay which is based on antigen antibody interaction. It does not play a role in the amplification of DNA. Number 2. Northern blotting is also incorrect. Northern blotting is used for identification of RNA. Number 3. Autoradiography. is a technique which is used to detect radio labeled DNA. Number 4 PCR is the correct option as PCR is polymerase chain reaction. It is an in vitro process that is used for amplification of a small DNA sequence. So the correct answer here for amplification for amplification into billions of copies of DNA is option number 4 that is PCR. Moving ahead with the next question students. Question number 152. The vectors based on fertility plasmid of E. coli are number 1 YAC is incorrect. Uh, YAC is yeast artificial chromosome. They have been developed from yeast therefore cannot be based on fertility factor of bacteria. Number 2 BAC is bacterial artificial chromosome. This is the correct answer as bacterial artificial chromosome has been developed from bacteria and they can accommodate large DNA fragments. Thus they have been used for mapping of large eukaryotic genomes. Number 3 phage mid is also incorrect as phage mid is a composite structure made by bacteriophage and plasmid. Thus does not contain fertility factors of bacteria. Number 4 cosmid is also incorrect as cosmid is a combination of cos site of lambda phage and plasmid. So the correct answer here becomes option number 2 that is bacterial artificial chromosome. Moving on to the next question students. Question number 153. The method by which recombinant DNA can be precisely incorporated directly into the nucleus of an animal cell is microinjection is the correct answer as microinjection is a technique in which a very fine needle is used to deliver DNA directly into the nucleus of the host cell. Number 2 biolistics is incorrect as biolistics are gene guns. Biolistics is a technique suitable for plants in which the cells are bombarded with high velocity microparticles of gold or tungsten which are coated with DNA. Number 3 gene gun is same as biolistic so is incorrect. Number 4 electroporation is also incorrect. As electroporation involves the delivery of short electrical impulses of high field strength. So the correct answer for precise delivery into the nucleus is micro injection. So the answer is option number 1. Moving ahead to the next question. Question number 154. Which of the following is not a source of restriction endonuclease? 
Hemophilus influenzae is incorrect as Hemophilus influenzae is the source of HIND2, HIND3, number 2, Meloidogyn incognita. This is the correct answer as Meloidogyn incognita is a nematode and we know that restriction endonucleases are obtained from bacteria. Number 3, Streptomyces albus. This is also incorrect as this is the source of cell 1. Number 3, Cerecia marcescens is also incorrect as Cerecia marcescens is the source of SMA1. So, the correct answer here becomes option number 2 that is Meloidigyne incognita. Moving ahead to the next question. Question number 155. Here we see the diagram of bioreactor. Let us see what the question asks. The above apparatus has been designed for addition of preservatives to the product. This is incorrect as the product is not yet formed in the bioreactor. Only biosynthesis is taking place that is upstream processing. That means conversion of substrate into product is taking place here. The product is not yet formed. Number two, ensuring anaerobic conditions in the culture vessel. This is also absolutely incorrect as the blades we see here are the agitators and their main function is to facilitate equal distribution of oxygen so that bacteria can carry out more oxidation and produce more Product number three, purification of product again incorrect as purification of product is a part of downstream processing. Number four, uniform availability of oxygen throughout the process. This is the correct answer as the agitator blades facilitate uniform delivery of oxygen. So the correct answer becomes option number four. Moving ahead to the next question. Mm -hmm.